Oh, I'm Daniela. And today I'm going to do my hair. Okay, I'm going to do Daniela hair. She told me that. So uh, now she's modeling for me. Two rounds of hair. We turn around so and see how your hair is. It's a nice asymmetrical line, but it can be a lot sharper. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, friends on YouTube. I'm waving. I'm going to start with protection, like I always do. Now she, she's, she has a wonderful asymmetrical line, but it's dry in the ends. She's going to do something on that. I don't know if I need to change the color, but I think I'm going to wash her with the shampoo of Lacme and bring out the color even better. So I'll show you that also. This I can do with the shampoo and conditioner on color based because the outgrow is very small. So when I would color this, it's about three millimeters. It's not enough for me to color the hair and to get the less conditioned by coloring. She has nice light shades in the hair. Start with a conditional product to leave in. And wet hair. I'm going to do a part of her hair with uh, TC1 Carefell of Jaguar just to bring in the best condition into the ends because we're going into summertime now in the Netherlands and we may take off our mask in uh, one day so I don't know if I can start with it but we may brush the hair with Olivia Garden brush this to not damage the hair at all and it feels really nice. Lekker, hè? Ja, heel lekker. Ja, de borstel. Ja, die borstels die masseren de hoofdhuid. Dus ontspannen ook gelijk, maar ze polijst ook. Ja. Okay. Zoals jij ook, die hier een beetje vetten zitten. Ja. En die vetten die breng je dan naar de punten toe. En ja. die punten die kunnen je heel goed gebruiken, want je hebt een betere conditioner als je eigen conditioner. Ja, ja. Start bij part in de hair. <laughs> Gezondheid. Turns. You see why I do this. See, this is turning. So when I take this line and go over the fold of the skull in the center, I take off this part and then go to the asymmetrical line. I have a much better line. So that's why I'm going to do this. So I part the hair on that line. Take the upper hair a bit higher. Set in the clip. So I have a free line to work in. Go till I get on the center of the skull bone and set in also a clip. So now I have a baseline to work on. Take off some length. Be aware because there's a little outgrow that is not going to be too short. Ja, dat is ook een goed idee. Of, uh, ja, dat is ook een goed idee. Dat kan ik hiernaast zeggen. Ja, dat weet je toch niet waar het geluid nee. vandaan komt. Onze buurman hiernaast die heeft die uh, hele grote lampen, die, die letters en cijfers die ze bij de voice gebruiken. Oké. Okay. Dat is zijn uh, specialiteit. Oké. Okay. Leden, eer to the front. Go in on the contour. Clean the contour. Go back on the same line. <laughs> so go back on the same line. Pull the hairs up a bit because there's that small wavy effect water in her hair. That I want to reduce. When I lay my pink on the scissor, I have a stable scissor. And when I take it off, I have a more freehand scissor, so I can work really nice in a freehand style. Come above the ear.
lift her so wait on this Denk je dat we een horrorfilm gaan zien? Ja, zeker. volgens mij ook. Ons man gaat met een man. En die knipt er ook nog. Ons pap ziet dat hij eraan had gezeten. Ruzie, ruzie. Ruzie, ruzie. Pap, Theo heeft het gedaan. Ja. Wist je niet, pap? Zou ik dat allemaal op laten staan? Dat is wel leuk. Oh, jongen. Dat is wel leuk om een film, hè? Lekker wel deugd. Oh, jongen. Wet her a little bit, not too much. Turn up again. And now this way. Again, make a nice clean line, not too short. So lay them first to the back. Cut this line and lay them to the front. Watch it has a still a little bit longer. Make sure the line is nice and clean. Pull the ear down. Go in the opposite lines. And clean the small hairs from the ears. So now I have a lot more rest into her hair than where we started with. Turn up. Get into the line of cutting. Pin that away. Set it away. Pom 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 pom. Moeten we zelf maar een liedje zingen? Ja, zeker. It's a beautiful day. De jeugd van tegenwoordig. The sun was shining. Je mag wel op de bank gaan leuk hoor. The children crying. Just kill the man. Mama, there's bubbles for Tina. It's a very nice number, eh? It's very nice. Mama. Just a poor hairdresser. Nobody <laughs> loves me. He's just a poor hairdresser with a lovely family. Spending his time on doing hair, doing hair, doing hair. Oh yeah. That has nothing to do. The one who is on the left. Take my small key on the clipper. Clean the control line. Pull in the natural lines. So you see, she has a little bit of wavy in it, but only this part is sticking on. And sometimes you see people coming uh, at the salon and did her, their own uh, nape shave with a, 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 a normal knife because they think the hair is too long. But they forget to lay three fingers into the line under the skull bone. So when you take off this, it's never too short. But when you take off, for example, two, you're always too short. So when you want to do this yourself, you lay fingers on your skull and take away all the hairs that are under this line. Now I have my baseline, so now I'm going to work with the TC1 Carefield of Jaguar. Free the hair. This is the hot scissor of Jaguar. I put it on 140 degrees Celsius, turn a bit so we can see again. Now watch what the line does and do. Take the hairs up into the line, lay my fingers on the line, on the skull where I did the cut. Holding the natural lines, get rid of the dry ends. Take every time about a centimeter here. Leading with my fingers, 
on her holy bone, like I do on the neckline, on the skull bone. So I use the natural shapes of the skull to make a haircut. Get to the natural parting. Using a fine point cut technique. So it's not a stiff line anymore. It was a makkelijk lijntje for you to hold the hand. And that's all? Yeah. <coughs> that stick is the asymmetry. Yeah. That's a long stick. Okay. That's fine. Stay with my fingers on the skull. So feel where the skull is and what the shapes are. And take all the hair on this as long as I can. So look at now with two new men Yeah. Thank you for. Dat kijkt ook heel anders in een Ja, dat is, dat is wat sterker dan. Dat is mooi. Stil onder mijn vingers onder scopen. Watch at the line. On the corners, see how wonderful this flows. The strong line again. Part from the part where I started the short hair. To the parts behind the ear and put the upper hair side. So I parted this line, so now I'm going to work into that line. And make sure there's a lot of volume afterwards in this hair. This I do by taking the skull bone as extra volume. So I use it by taking the heads under the natural lines and then leaning on the line. So the thickness of the back of the head brings also the volume into the heads. Halfway, I turn my cutting line around. So I go in the opposite lines. This I do because then I get more dramatic effect into the line. You see, this side I don't take too much of. And up here, I tip the hair to the side, correct it a bit. And so it creates this baseline. When I lay to the side, you can see that it really flows nicely into each other. Free the upper hair. Take it on the line. Start in the center. Hold them out, call them flat. Turn the hairs in and give them the feeling of swinging to the other side. So Hold my comb flat, take up the hairs, and swing them to the other side. So I give an opposite feeling into the hairs by flat, turning, and laying. So I force the hairs into that swing. Is that you still as you can see a little bit of a Ik ook niet normaal gesproken, hoor. maar als ik het ga vertellen wel. <laughs> Daarom word je ook een beetje een kaffer. En zo ook. Want dan word je echt van dit soort knipte technieken. Kom, to the right side. Lay the hands down. Pin in two parts. 
over the skull bone and just above the skull bone. This is my baseline. Wetting because I need support for the scissor. Gently take the hairs up, lay them in the rounding, point my fingers at the chin line. Because when I know what the skull line does, I'm also knowing what the chin line does. And it's the most natural line there is. Get rid of the thin parts. Treat up hair, lay the hair again into the natural roundings, bend them to the back, lean with my fingers on the skull bone. Stay working the same roundings using her natural shapes. That's the most important thing. Free the total upper hair. Lay the hair off the rounding. No, here is the crown area, so I have to use, get used of that and use this crown area. So I lift the hairs over, don't pull on the hairs, just gently on the hairs. Don't force anything, just leave the length a little bit longer by the natural fall. Do the same to the sides. And the nice thing when I would wash it hair with, with the colored shampoo, the blonde takes also a little bit of the color. It then creates a totally different color than the blonde line. I think that will be fun. Het wel droog en die blonde lijntjes. Hè? Ja. Dat merk ik dan wel. Ja. Nou, this is my line. You see, I left there with the volume, so I get a real nice shape into this hair. So now I only have to the top. Take the hair up. Hold my fingers in the line of the chin line again, because this is also the chin line. Knowing that this is a disconnect to the line on the left side, but it's also by natural parting. And holding as much length as I can. But making sure every hair is sealed. Wet the upper hair again. Lay it over. Watching at the line. From the center line, I take the hairs to this side, to the line of cutting. Go in here, connect them on the baseline, and go down. Mm 
and again holding length. The nice thing is when she goes swimming and the hair flips over to the other side, it's still looking good. That's also very important. Like curtain bang, you lift the hairs over to the other side, twist it, tip it and so. We're not going to wash your hair with a color shampoo and then we're back for styling. Back from washing the hair, use uh, what I told you, Lacme, copper and red. First I washed it with a, a golden shampoo of Lacme and then the conditioner is a, a, yeah, a copper and a red. This I put on the hairs. Use a velvet mousse, strong. Massage this into the hairs. Skimmed good? Yeah. <laughs> Don't slap on my coat. Yeah. Come this product through the hairs. Start blow drying with a medium. Shampoo en een conditie met je al doet, hè? Ja, heel andere kleur blijft dan, hè? Ja. Echt stuur. Hoe dat kan, hè? Ja. <coughs> ja, spannend. Heel spannend. So far blow drying. Now I'm going to make a combination between uh, a clay and uh, uh, wax. Two different brands. One is Goldwell KMS in the States and the other is uh, Glint Bora. Start with the Bora, it's clay's product. This amount and of the gel wax the same amount. Mix them through each other. Make sure that it's totally gone so you don't see the product anymore. This is applied in the under hairs to get a lot of volume. And I don't touch the hairs with my inner hands, I only do it with my fingers. Do you need some other like that? Not that. Really? Yeah. The rest I can massage a little bit in only on the ends, not too much. Wait, making sure your hands are warm when you do this. This gives the wax an extra feeling. Use a little bit hairspray to secure the hair. This is a fresh up of an asymmetrical hairline. And 
giving it a lot of volume. Thank you for being my model. Or thank you for watching. We see each other next video. She will certainly turn around to see you at the end of so. Thanks, Rob. I see you. Leuk, hè? Ja, mooie kleur ook hoor. Ja. Dat, uh, wauw. Zit er netjes? Ja, hè? Ik kan er weer twee zitten. Ik kan daar niet halen. En vandaag gaat Theo mijn haar doen. Oké, okay. I'm going to do Daniela Serge, she told me that. So, uh, now she's modeling for me. We you want to try, we turn around, so let's see how your hair is. It's a nice asymmetrical line, but it can be a lot sharper. <laughs> Dankjewel.